And suddenly, she started coughing. Once, twice, didn't know what to do. He went and grabbed the nearest water bottle and tried to give it to her. But she was pushing it away. She was trying to say something, but you couldn't understand. And, and then, suddenly, she fell on the ground. He went to her, shaked her a couple of times, called her name, but she didn't reply. When he knew that, she was dead. If you were in this situation and your friend really died in front of your eyes, who should be blamed? Yes, it's a great question, and this will lead us to our speech. Reem and I believe that there should be a new subject added to the school curriculum and it should be taught there. Exactly, and this subject is the survival subject. But first, Lean, can you tell them what the survival subject is? Yeah, of course. You can't agree on teaching a subject without knowing what it is. So simply, the survival subject is a subject that teaches techniques that a person may use in order to sustain life in any type of natural environment. To clarify, it teaches you what to do when you get lost, how to find a filterized water, how to find a shelter, how to make fire, and how to depend on yourself, and much more. But you should also know how will the subject be taught in schools and how will the exams be. So Reem, can you tell them the syllabus of the subject? Sure, but first I want you all to clear your minds and think of nothing. Just listen to each word that I say so you can imagine the subject clearly. So clear your minds, please. At the beginning of the year, like any subject, this subject will start with a diagnostic test. Actually, I used to hate these, but this diagnostic test is unique. It's one of a kind that I'm sure that no one of you saw something like this before. You'll not sit there, circle the right answer, no, but you'll need to go out and deal with different challenges so the teacher can know what do you know about this subject and what do you need to learn. Number two, number two is, then of course you'll start taking lessons. Uh, then of course you'll start taking lessons. For example, oh, then of course you'll start taking lessons. You're not going to be sitting in your desks, barely opening your eyes and counting the minutes and the seconds left for the session to finish. Because the lessons are going to be taught out of the schools. You'll go out to the environment to explore the world and to learn how to survive, for example, in the middle of the desert or at the top of the mountain. And then, in the middle of the year when you're so exhausted of all these math, science, quizzes, chapter tests, oh, tell me about it. There'll be, drum roll please, a trip. You all like trips, right? But this trip won't be to the Gala Mountain or to the Othe Mall, but it will be to a swimming pool perhaps, because each student has the right to learn the survival skills near water. Then of course, at the end of each semester, there will be the final exams. But don't worry, you're not going to be worried for getting your pencil case or thinking about how would the teacher bring the questions, because the, lessons, because the exams are going to be practical. For example, the test could be about surviving in a boat at the middle of the sea or defending yourself from an enormous animal. And this is how the subject will go throughout the year. But do you know what you'll gain from it? From the survival subject, you don't only gain the survival skills, but the subject also enriches your mind with different kinds of skills. Number one is that you'll always feel safe. For example, if someone came to you holding a knife to kill you, for example, since you studied in the school the survival subject, you'll easily know how to defend yourself without carrying a gun with you everywhere. Second, you'll be independent. You'll not wait for someone to come and rescue you if you are in danger. For example, if you are in a building that was on fire, you'll not sit there burning, waiting for the firefighters to come and help you, but you'll go and rescue others. And on the right, you can see an imaginary picture of you before learning the survival subject, and on the left, after learning the survival subject. Number three is being brave. Now, as I said in the syllabus of the subject, there will be practical exams, which is the most important part. For example, the test could be about surviving in the forest. From this experience, you will learn how to be brave and responsible. Last but not least, this subject will change the community. It will change the humanity from good to better and from better to best. But how? Number one is that it's not only about you, it's also about the people around you. According to encyclopedia.com, 17,000 persons go to hospitals or even die because of choking. So if the people around you learn the survival skills, of course the number of victims will decrease. Second, some problems will have a less probability to occur. Here, we'll talk about two main problems. First, as ladies, of course we need to talk about harassment. And second, about bullying. You all know bullying, right? In fact, 3.2 million child is a victim of bullying each year. So, if the survival subject was taught in school, anyone who would be in either of these situations will know how to defend themselves. And as a result, the probability of these problems to occur, of course, will decrease. Number three is preparing for emergencies. Now, each one of us, no matter what age you are, should be prepared for emergencies, especially children, because we all know those small, curious creatures. If they saw any attractive thing, they immediately run to see what it is, even if it was dangerous. For example, a child could be curious about the phone charger, and we all know that electricity is dangerous to the extent that it could make a child die. So in this situation, when the child die, you should be blamed. 
Last but not least, lean and I believe that the survival subject should be added to the school's curriculum and, should, and it should be taught there. And we'd really like if the people in charge would really look at the school subjects and think about it. And finally, we all know that emergencies happen. Are you ready? Thank you for listening.